It's something you may not think about when it comes to cleaning your home, your air ducts. They are sure busy throughout the air, keeping you warm and cool. And here with more insight, it's the title sponsor of our Lands Inc. Home and Garden Expo Virtually 2021. Lands Heating and Cooling Comfort Consultants, Michael Savage and Kurt Fletcher are here with us. First of all, thanks for being our title sponsor. This is exciting. We're, we're kind of doing some things different this year. Right, right. Yep, it's good to be here. And thanks for having me. Well, absolutely. So you guys are the comfort specialists, the comfort consultants. That's right. So let's talk a little bit about the difference between different HVAC systems that are going to be keeping homes comfortable. Sure. Yeah, there's a lot of different types of systems out there. Uh, whether it's an all-electric system, it may be a gas a furnace, an air conditioner, a heat pump, a geothermal system. There are a lot of different types of systems out there. So you have to figure out which one is best for you and your needs and your home. Absolutely. Right. That's where you all come in. And then we, um, we kind of teased a little bit just a little bit ago about the um, air ducts in our home. That really is important to keep the air clean and flowing. Right. Absolutely. Right. So when it comes to uh, most HVAC systems, uh, they're typically out of sight, out of mind, right, until something goes wrong. Um, so typically uh, what's most associated with your HVAC is going to be your filtration, your filters, um, to help keep that ductwork clean, help keep the, uh, the air clean in the home. Um, so, uh, and that's yep. an example. That was a before and now here's an There's after. There's a before and after. Um, a lot of times people are very unaware of how dirty their ductwork can actually get. Um, uh, Michael himself, he, he's had a duct cleaning and yes. one of the ways you can really tell how dirty your ductwork is, as Michael's example was, he took his camera and stuck it down his vent. <laughs> Yeah, okay. so I, yeah, so I bought a new home almost shy of a couple years ago, and I took my phone and I turned the flash on and I stuck it down in a duct, and I was surprised and shocked at the amount of uh, dust and dander. There had been a few uh, remodels. There was a lot of drywall mud and some tile mud in there. Oh, wow. There was some dog food, and I don't even own a dog. <laughs> Oh, and no. uh, and a dead mouse was in another one. And, oh, and guess what? That air that I'm uh, breathing every day and my family, oh. my wife and kids, it's just flowing right on yeah. by Yeah, I'm sure you'd probably find a few Legos in mine. I know we've talked before about needing to um, maintain your, your air conditioner, your furnace before that season starts when you actually need it. So what's the maintenance like on on? cleaning your ducts and maintaining them because is it every season? Is it every couple of years? What's that process like? Yeah, sure. So that's typically recommended. I mean, it's a personal preference how much you want to do that, but at least every four to five years is what is recommended for your duct work you know, to be cleaned. But I'm sure it's sooner on your filters because we've got <laughs> some examples here and this is alarming. I'm going to guess they never changed out their air filter. Right. Yeah. So filtration, number one step. Um, uh, dirty filter is actually the number one cause of uh, failure of, of the HVAC equipment. Um, air is what is passing through that filter. And if that filter looks like that, no air is getting through there. So <laughs> no. um, it, on average, it's always recommended a one inch filter, which is in most homes you want to change between every 30 to 45 days. Because all filters we have learned in the past are not created equal. They are not created equal. And you, you, I don't know if you can see, but on top you have a one inch filter, uh, good for 30 to 45 days. Um, the filters are only designed to, to filter so much particulates out of the air. Um, a one inch filter, um, generally filters around 10 particulates per minute per basketball size amount of air. Whereas if you have a five inch filter, um, which typically lasts about six months, uh, around 25 times more effective at filtering particulates is more along the lines of 250 per minute. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that the five inch one may be a little pricier than these one inch ones. However, if we're thinking bigger picture here and in the long run, it's probably a better value to go that route. Great, right? great question. Actually, that's a really common question. Um, if you're changing your 30 inch filter or your, your one inch filter every 30 to 45 days, typically that's 12 filters per year at an average cost of anywhere from five to ten dollars. Um, your average five inch filter is around 25 to 30 dollars, but that's two filters per year. So in all actuality, larger filters can cost you less 
in the long term, but have better long term effects as well. Mm, okay, I'm thinking we're about out of time, but tell me about this really quickly. What's going on with this? What is yeah, it? Yeah, sure. So what this is, this is an air purifier. This is not, uh, so in the realm of air purification or, or IAQ or indoor air quality, you have your filtration, but then you have your purification. This is a, uh, a UV light. It's an APCO. And this guy here will uh, kill mold and germs and viruses. Um, and things like that in the air. Um, Where does it go? Like in, on the wall, on the floor? Sure. So, Where do you put it? Yeah, so it will break down and destroy the DNA um, of any uh, mold or germs or, or viruses and it will uh, turn it into uh, water vapor and uh, carbon dioxide. Oh, but where does it attach? Like to a, to a vent? It, or? No, so inside of the machine here there is carbon cells that it Attaches to. Oh, it's just a machine that you just yes. plug in, like. Yes. So. Okay. So this I thought is it was like a, some kind of a UV ball. It's a UV light. It's a UV light okay. that installs inside of the ductwork, and okay. so it's a whole home air purifier. We're cooking with grease now, guys. <laughs> I'm following you. Okay, you've got some great promotions going on with this home and garden um, virtual expo. So what have you got special going on? Sure. Uh, as always, year round we have uh, special financing um, and uh, rebates available depending on certain types of equipment. Uh, during certain types of uh, uh, promotional periods. So okay. there's always something offered. Well, I am sure there are so many health benefits to have clean um, ducts, clean filters, and um, maybe this whole um, air purifying system. So people will definitely need to reach out to you if they're interested Absolutely. and want to learn more. And there's, a, and there's a wide array of other products as well, like humidifiers and dehumidifiers that go into the indoor air quality sector as well. See? These are your guys right here to help you out. And if you have any questions, maybe you want to learn more about the promotions and the offers and rebates that they have um, to offer right now, we will connect you with Lance Heating and Cooling at our website, oh, excuse me, WCIA.com.